that's what every other telescope does. This large synoptic survey telescope would take multiple images of the sky every single night, stringing them together and basically making a movie, a movie of the night sky. Now we don't think you need that naively because you look up at the night sky, the star is there tonight and it's gonna be there tomorrow night and the night after that and the night after that. But how do you discover things that change? Well, we could do it passively and say, oh, that star just got really bright. I wonder when that happened. Did it happen an hour ago, overnight? Yesterday, I wasn't looking yesterday. These are how supernovae were discovered. Stars that blow the guts up into the surrounding environment. That phenomena takes hours. But if you're not looking at it while it happened, you missed it. You just see the end result. And you saw what it was before any of that happened. And you missed everything in between. So we know that stars vary in brightness. We call them variable stars. They'll vary over days, typically. The fast ones are 12 hours, 24 hours. Others will vary over weeks, some months. That's a time scale you can come back to the telescope, take an image, oh, it got a little brighter. Oh, it got a little dimmer. We, we, had, we, took, we felt comfortable with that. But wait a minute, suppose a star varied within just hours and then went back to what it was. How, how would you know? You would miss it. So what the Vera Rubin telescope will do is time sample, that's the term, the official term, time sample the phenomenon, not on a sequence of day, but hours and even minutes. So that if something varies on those shorter time scales, it'll get captured for the first time ever. Well, suppose a star got brighter once every 24 hours. The sky is huge. 